Welcome back, everybody. In the Kitchen with Karen Dosser from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Good morning. How Good are you? I'm doing great. Boy, summer's flying oh, by, oh isn't it? Oh, my goodness, it? it sure is. It's crazy. Oh. <laughs> so, um, you know, this is the last big hurrah, as I said, this weekend, Labor Day weekend. Maybe you're having cookout, having people over, and you want to do a special dessert. Karen has an idea using the peaches, which yes. are beautiful right yes, now. Yes, they are. It's so yummy. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, at the farmer's market, you can find them. You can find them uh, this nice at the grocery store. Um, so. Why not take advantage of them and make um, these cute little peach tarts? Is peach that pie tarts. It's actually a caramel sauce made with, of course, butter in there and the peaches and, and brown sugar. Mm. And then we're also topping it off with some wonderful whipped cream that's mixed with a little bit of that sauce as well. So super simple to make, but tastes delicious. And they're individual, so you can you know make a whole bunch of them and you know have it for your picnic or anytime you know any party that you might yeah. be having and actually this recipe that we're going to be doing today our peach pie tarts was part of our dairy days of summer collection of summertime recipes featuring wisconsin dairy so this is one i'm really excited to to share with you because it is fun to make well and i love the fact that it starts with no you don't have to make your own <laughs> little right. pie shell you can just pick these up at the grocery store mm -hmm. Um, these little you know, graham cracker crusts, tart, they're graham cracker, right? They're graham yep. cracker, yep. right. And actually, they come in a pack of six, okay. and this does actually make six. Okay. And, you know, so, and these are so cute and still very much on trend to, mm -hmm. to get your own dessert. And That's it just right. makes it feel very extra special. So, okay. So, All right, so we're going to start actually making our caramel sauce. Okay. So, you're going to take a stick of butter and melt that and add your brown sugar. Okay. And that's a half a cup of dark brown sugar. Okay. And we want to bring that to a rolling boil. Okay. Okay. So, we can get that going. And while that's cooking, I'm going to have you prepare some of our peaches here. You bet. Now, if I just had the light brown sugar, would that be okay? That would be fine. Okay, yeah. okay. This is making a caramel sauce, and a caramel sauce usually um, consists of butter and sugar, and you want to heat it to high heat so that it boils and okay. then it starts to thicken. Okay, so, so we'll let that kind of hang out a little bit. Make sure that's, uh, you know, maybe crank it up crank a little it up bit, bit more. Okay, yeah, all right, go. so Get all one dissolved. stick of butter and a half, half a cup, cup of, brown, of the sugar. brown sugar. Correct. Okay, all right. Now, uh, then we're going to take, it actually calls for about two to three peaches. What I'm finding is two, you know, nice sized peaches work fine. So okay. we want to take these, Amy, and um, kind of cut them up in dices. You bet. And I'll let you do that. Mm -hmm. Do we want need to peel them, too? No. No? Mm -hmm. just, just just dice them okay. into, I'd say, maybe half-inch dices. Okay. And what we're going to do once that um, caramel sauce is boiling is we're going to add the peaches to it and cook it with a few pecans as well. And uh, for about five minutes, there's that five in there for you. And we have a little cream we're going to add to it, and then all we're going to do is pour it into the tarts. Yum. Um, what I'm noticing about these two is these are the perfect ripeness. Mm -hmm. Any tips for, you know, let's say you, you want to make this dessert in a couple of days and those peaches are rock hard. Yeah, you know, sometimes I find that in the store as well, and usually I do leave them out on okay. the counter. Sometimes you find in the grocery stores they have paper bags. Yes. Have you seen that? Yes. And putting fruit like this in a bag, that kind of helps to speed up that process a little bit. So um, that's don't Good put tip. them in the refrigerator right away. Okay. They'll, they'll stay too hard for you. Okay, so. unless they're really ripe. And then if they're ripe, then yeah. put them in the refrigerator. Okay. Okay. So one of those kind of fruits that yeah. once it is ripe, then it kind of goes quickly as yep. well. So, but I found that what I'm finding is they're really just beautiful out yeah, there. Yeah, these so are gorgeous. Really nice ones. Just want to eat one of these. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah. So we're still waiting for this going. to boil a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. Right. I do have a finished one, but we have that. Uh, I thought we'd just show you the process here. You bet. And then what we're going to do, actually, too, is I've whipped up some cream here. Uh, this is a half a cup of whipping cream, and that's what we're featuring on top of it. Yeah. And uh, we're going to whip that up and then add a little bit of the caramel sauce to it to kind of flavor oh, it as well. Okay. Fun. And one kind of tip when you're whipping cream is uh, it's always best to maybe make your bowl nice and cold. I put it in the freezer along mm -hmm. with the beaters because mm -hmm. the colder it is, the more volume you'll get and it will whip up much That's nicer. That's a really so, good tip yeah. and sometimes you're finding it's just not happening. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, um, cold, make sure the cream is really cold. Mm -hmm. Don't don't put it out on the counter for a while. No. You want it ice cold, do bowl, and sometimes we'll even put our beaters in the in the uh, in the freezer. That's just, right. Okay, so how's okay, this looking here? Okay, that's looking good. It's boiling when it starts bubbling like that. Okay. And you're going to add your peaches to okay. that. Okay. All of those. Yum. And then I also have a quarter cup of some chopped pecans. Ooh. And we're going to keep that bubbling. You mix it all together. Keep that bubbling. Now you mentioned caramel sauce, but we don't put it in. We, do we put the caramel sauce in the whipped cream now? Not or yet. Okay, no. No. We're okay. actually the finished okay. sauce. Okay. Okay. So you want to stir that all together and. It recommends cooking it maybe 
you know, three to five minutes till the, the peaches become a little bit soft. Okay, okay. so pretty. Uh, bubbling around. Yep. And uh, once that does get to that point, then we're going to add a couple tablespoons of cream to that with okay. cream to it. So right into yeah. the heavy mm -hmm. cream? into After it's cooked for okay. about you know, three to five minutes. Okay. And then uh, cook it another couple minutes till it uh, thickens a little bit and it's ready to go. And that's what we have over here on the side. So good and so easy. So isn't I that mean, easy? And something a little different, I yeah. think. So here's our peach. So we're going to put this into the crust. That's right. You spoon it in. What I'm going to do before you do that, mm -hmm. I'm going to take a couple, and it doesn't have to be boiling hot. You can actually set it aside to cool once it's done. But I'm going to take a couple uh, tablespoons and set this aside to put into our cream. Okay. And then uh, you So you can want fill. the peaches and everything in that yep. cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you can start filling the uh, little tart shells, and I'm going to mix just two tablespoons into my cream. Yep. Karen, should this, uh, when you serve this, should it be warm or does it matter? I would say more room temperature, more room or temperature. you can refrigerate it as well. Okay. When they're room temperature, you don't want it to be hot like that, but when it's room temperature, it's almost like a very caramely, you eat it, um, Kind of soupy, like a like a pudding. Okay. Almost. Uh, if you refrigerate it, it becomes a little bit more firm. Either okay. way would be fine. Sure. Okay. Yum. Yeah. Smells oh, absolutely divine. And then we're going to just top it. So no baking. You don't have to no. bake anything. Mm -hmm. Not at all. And I have some that are cooled here. Yeah. So, so, you so can what see, I'm going to do? Put the whipped cream on and that. And then put okay. the uh, whipped cream right on just top. Just like a peach whipped, whipped cream. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Exactly. So it's really delicious. Simple to make. You can make them ahead of time, the day before, and, and set them out or refrigerate them. So oh my gosh, fine. that looks fantastic. Um, if you'd like the recipe for this, you can get it on our website, box11online.com. Click on the Living tab and Recipes, and it'll be right there. Uh, how can people get a hold of that, uh, that the summer recipes that you guys put right. together? Right, we have those on our website, eatwisconsincheese.com, and there's actually oh, like a 30 recipes or more celebrating summer and all the different dairy products we make here. In Wisconsin. Oh, so. it sounds wonderful. It's still not too late. There's still <laughs> lots of great summer ingredients out there. In fact, sometimes, you know, into September, you're still going to find oh, wonderful yes. produce and peaches mm -hmm. and like that. So let's just keep it going. I'm not ready to say goodbye to summer. Not me. I am <laughs> not ready. Karen, what are we making next time? We're going to make a quick chocolate mousse Ooh. and actually do some more of our heavy whipped cream and marshmallows and chocolate chips. Super simple. Yum. Chocolate mousse in less than five minutes. That's my kind of recipe. Also, we're going to check on my chicken Swiss bake casserole in the oven. And what about doing uh, breakfast for dinner? We have a five-ingredient recipe that your family will love. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back.